okay so we got a question right here a proton is accelerated by a uniform electric field after time t the speed of the proton has increased by delta v a helium nucleus h e which has a nucle nucleon as 4 and proton as 2 is accelerated by the same electric field after what time will the helium nucleus achieve the same change in speed right so basically i can use the formula e is equals to basically e is equals to f by q now you might be wondering why i use this formula right because i can see that there are like two t charges right two test charge i can say or because this formula is basically used for test charges right test charge right so i can see that there are like two test charges right uh, one is proton and one is helium nucleus right so these are like test charges right and they're going in an electric field in a uniform electric field right so i can basically use this formula to figure it out right and then we have been given speed and then time right so we can use f is equals to basically um m a right i think so yeah f is equals to m a basically convert m yes and then we can use the m a as m delta v or you can say v by t right to find the basic uh, basically the time for the uh, sorry yeah this time for the the helium nucleus to achieve the same change in speed right so let me expand this formula out right i'm gonna expand it. then i'm gonna put the uh, the variable that had been given by the question for the proton and the helium right so i've been given e is equals to f which is m a by q right and then i've been given e is equals to m and then we can write it as v by t right v by t times v by t by q and as we know the reciprocal rule this denominator of the nominator this fraction right has the nominator in fraction right so this fraction the denominator will basically go to the denominator of the fraction right the whole fraction so it is basically equals to e is equals to m v by t q right okay now let's substitute because we are going to use this on both the protons and the helium you know so basically for the number one which is my proton right so i'm gonna I, i'm seeing that they have been given me the time t and the velocity which is delta v right okay so i have e because everything is same right so yeah okay so i have e is equals to m okay nothing about the mass as well and i have been given v which is same t make sure to put t1 because the times are not same remember the proton is accelerated at the start but the helium was accelerated by the same electric field but later not you know uh like you know that the time must be not the time must be reaching later on same but not right now so basically you know you can put t1 because we are finding you know t1 basically indicates the pro proton time right so we will write t1 which is proton time right and then we have the charge of proton which is positive q right so we have q okay so now let's write the second one which is helium right i can see that e is gonna be the same mass is basically gonna be the same as well we have the same because it is uh, in the same electric field so we, we know that their speed is gonna be equal after some time right so i can keep the speed same i can see that I, i'm uh, we're gonna use the helium's time as t2 right and the charge as we can see basically charge is basically elect uh, uh, you know e like e times how many you know protons it has as we can see it has two protons right so basically it's 2e right you can say 2e or you can just basically write it as 2q you can write it as i am gonna write it as just for explanation purpose i wrote 2e you know you basically times it by 1.6 times you know the charge of the basically the electron whatever you want to say right so i can write it also as mv by t2 and 2q right it it doesn't you know matter that much because it's just the two times of the proton charge right so 
I can basically now I want to basically make some constants so that it is easier for me to judge what will be the time right I can see the mass is not changing I can see the V is not changing as well I can see the E is not changing as well right so I can take them as basically the uh, constants right so no no okay the V uh, yeah okay so let us see that I'm gonna take a by m v right is equals to one by t one by q right. I'm gonna just do the I'm gonna switch it because I need it in you know nominator not denominator right. Or yeah you can yeah okay so I'm gonna write it as basically uh, m v because you know if you're just switching them up this also switches up you know so if you do this it is the same thing right okay so now I'm gonna do the same thing for here I'm gonna take e is equals to e by mv is equals to 1 by t2 and 2q right so now I'm gonna basically switch it up as well you know mv by e right and I know that it will become t2 by 2q right by 1 so I can then equal them up so it's basically t1 q is equal to t2 2q I can remove these q's right so I can see basically t1 is equal to 2 times the t2 right okay so I can see my t2 is basically the 2 times of the time that has been given for the proton one so my answer is basically gonna be b right because this was my proton time which was 1 and uh, this T1 is my proton and T2 is by uh, the helium nucleus right the helium basically right so I can see my T2 is basically mean the two times of the you know it's been two times right so I can basically say my answer B is the correct option right